hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology nice to see all of you and when i made the video on ketu's transit into uttarashada i had mentioned about dhruva maharaj so today we will discuss about dhruva maharaj and how to have determination in life to do anything basically either it's material or spiritual or anything or anything in between <laughs> because either it is material or spiritual we cannot do anything without determination we need determination if there is no determination there is no life basically so if you are new to the channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation regarding determination <laughs> then you can go to my website and book a reading with me you will find the link to my website in the description section of this video below and if you have not watched the ketu transit into tarashada that video you can also watch it all right and before i begin as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him like dhruva maharaj found lord vishnu okay so basically this video is on determination and we will learn with an example so dhruva maharaj his story is there in the bhagavatam and that is one of the most 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 famous stories and it is also one of my personal favorite stories because that shows how determined he was to obtain god and we can use that same principle in all our activities also now what happened was lord brahma is there and then swambhu manu is his son actually that is why he is known as swambhu one who is self manifested he directly appeared from lord brahma lord brahma did not unite with anybody and then swambhu manu had sons one of the name uh, i mean one of his sons was uthanapad and he had another son if you know then write it in the comments who was the other son of swambhu manu of swambhu manu of course and uthanapad was ruling the entire universe that time and his son was dhruva and uthanapad had two queens one her name was suruchi the other was suniti and the name is very important actually <laughs> ruchi shows interest and niti shows intelligence so uthanapad was very 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 attached to suruchi and he was not very attached to suniti and suniti's son was dhruva maharaj okay and what happened one day dhruva maharaj was sitting in the lap of his father maharaj uthanapad and when he was sitting suddenly his stepmother stepmother <laughs> suruchi came and said get down from the lap of your father you do not deserve to sit there because you are born from the womb of a inferior inferior lady and if you want to sit in the lap of your father you have to take birth from a great lady like me <laughs> yes so she used to think that she is very great and then uthanapad he was so attached to his wife suruchi that he did not defend dhruva he did not say anything because he was very helpless in front of her that is what happens na when you are helpless the opposite sex controls you when uh, as they say uh, in english i guess hand packed <laughs> in uh, india there was also a movie which was named after this night was known as joru ka gulam joru means for the west western audience joru means the wife or the spouse or the girlfriend or whatever you call and gulam means uh, slave basically so whatever the uh, whatever the girl wants the man boy just does so he was like that hand packed and he could not say anything because of his attachment and dhruva maharaj was totally shattered can you imagine somebody telling you like this get down from the lap of your father you cannot sit there and then dhruva maharaj he was totally devastated he was angry he was frustrated he was agitated all the negative connotations my god can you imagine he was just 5 year old 5 year 2 year 3 year 4 year my god that's like that's barely infant stage he was like barely understanding the world what the world is who is my mother who is my father and that time your stepmother says like this 
and Duro Maharaj was not angry on his stepmother. He was angry on his father that he did not defend me. Can you imagine? <laughs> and then he went running to his own mother Suniti, and he said to Suniti, and Suniti came to know from the servants of the palace what had happened. And Suniti was also devastated. She was also crying, crying, crying non-stop, and. Dhruva Maharaj went and embraced his mother and Dhruva Maharaj said, Look, my stepmother said like this and my father didn't say anything. And then Suniti said, Well, yes, I know. Your father <laughs> doesn't like me the way he likes your stepmother, Suruchi. So because of that, he doesn't have the power to say anything back to her. And then Dhruva Maharaj, this five-year-old boy, a five-year-old kid, in fact, he's not even a boy. <laughs> he's just like a baby, only five-year-old. He says to his mother, "Oh, do hell with my father. <laughs> I want a kingdom greater than not my father, not my grandfather. His father was Uttanapath, grandfather was Swambhuvanu." He says, I want a kingdom which is greater than the kingdom of my great-grandfather, who is Lord Brahma himself. Now, there's a problem. <laughs> Brahmaji is the ruler of the entire universe. Brahma, Anda, as they say, na? Anda is an egg. And one Brahma rules one Brahmanda. The 14 planetary systems, starting from Satyaloka, then the 14 planetary systems, about which we'll discuss some other day. So then what happened? He said to his mother, I want a kingdom greater than Lord Brahma's kingdom. Na? But then the problem is, how, how, how do we have a kingdom greater than the universe, you see? <laughs> and then his mother uh, said to him that, yes, God can definitely fulfill your desire. And then Dhruva Maharaj asks a question. <coughs> he says, where do I find God? Should I repeat, where do I find God? Tell me where God is. And then his mother says to him that, well, I don't know where God is. But they say, they say, they say that he is in the forests because the yogis and the sages and saints, they meditate upon him. So maybe you find him in the forests. <laughs> so you should go to the forest, you see. And then Dhruva Maharaj was like, yes, I'm going to the forest now. <laughs> so he was like that. I want to see God. I want God. I want him at any cost. Of course, he did not want God. He wanted to see God to fulfill his material ambition. So there's something beautiful. You will see what happens at the end. So this is how the story goes. And then he goes to the forest. And it is said that when you are ready, God will send the spiritual master, the guru. When you see God wholeheartedly, genuinely, then God sends the Guru. You just desire and the Guru will appear from somewhere. So then what happened? He went to the forest and the news spread in the entire palace, in the entire city and in the entire country and in the entire universe. The Dhruva Maharaj, that five-year-old kid has gone to the forest to meditate, to penance. And then ultimately, Lord Vishnu from Vaikuntha, he told Narad Muni, Narad Muni is also one of the sons of Lord Brahma. He said to Narad Muni that, My dear Narad, please go and enlighten Dhruva about spiritual knowledge. And then Dhruva Maharaj, uh, sorry, Narad Muni was very happy as usual <laughs> to enlighten anybody about spirituality. And then he goes to the forest to meet Dhruva Maharaj. And then Dhruva Maharaj tells to Narad Muni that, O oh great sage, why have you come here? And the Narad Muni, what he does is, before giving the spiritual knowledge, he tests him. He tests the determination which Dhruva Maharaj has. He said, Oh, you are a five-year-old baby. Now, why are you wasting time doing all this now? You should go to the uh, playgrounds. Huh? You should play with your uh, <laughs> friends, actually. You should go and sit with your relatives. You should, uh, you should enjoy. You should have a good time. This is, See, you are a child. This time is not for doing spiritual activities. The childhood time is for enjoying. Alright? Enjoy with your relatives. Eat, dance. Enjoy, basically. And then Dhruva Maharaj said, 
no i am not enjoying <laughs> i have come here to do tapasya i will do that and then naraduni again started persuading him he said no no see you are okay it's okay your father said just forget it man why are you so bogged up leave it let ignore it then dhruva maharaj got angry he said look you mister <laughs> if you can help me go close to god then you are most welcome otherwise namaste <laughs> so then narad muni was very happy and then narad muni said to him that okay that's that shows you are ready somebody is ready now it seems and then narad muni says that yes now i will tell you and then he gives him this mantra om namo bhagavate vasudevaya this mantra he gives him it is there in the shrimad bhagavatam all right and then he gives him a different set of practices how to control the breathing processes uh, the air inside then what to eat how to how to conduct yourself basically and then he said ki, that you make a dt of lord vishnu the four handed form and then you worship that offer uh, water then you offer tulsi and then there is a whole list of uh, activities which are ma- which is mentioned in the shrimad bhagavatam he said do all this and gradually reduce your eating so he said something like this i i don't remember exactly but this was what he said that first uh, for the first days you eat uh, fruits then you eat leaves then you take only water then you only breathe my god and he said then very soon you will see lord vishnu and then narad muni also t- told him that you chant this mantra and within some days you will be able to see the denizens of the heavenly planets that is what he said just some days in fact so then dhruva maharaj he started doing everything what his guru said he took blessings of his guru and he started doing everything and then what happened when when he when he was doing these spiritual practices his material desire that desire only went away that he want a kingdom greater than the kingdom of uh, lord brahma himself and then what happened when he was at the last month the sixth month and when he his he, he became so powerful that he was controlling the entire air of this universe yes so there was no air left nobody could breathe he was so heavy he became heavier than the universe nobody could bear his weight he was so hot my god nobody can bear him and then all the demigods headed by indra they went to lord brahma and said my god the universe will be destroyed if dhruva maharaj does not get what he wants because that is the power of austerity you get lot of strength inside and then finally what happened dhruva maharaj was meditating and when he was meditating on the four handed form of lord vishnu he actually saw the four handed form in his mind in in his heart actually it was actually revealed and he was meditating 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 and then suddenly out of nowhere that four handed form which was inside his heart which he was relishing like anything that suddenly disappeared <laughs> that suddenly disappeared and then his mind was very agitated he was like oh, where is this form gone he could not control himself he was so frustrated out of agitation he directly opened his eyes because he was meditating his eyes were closed and the moment he opened his eyes that same form which he was seeing inside his heart was directly standing in front of him directly and he saw that lord vishnu is standing smiling at him in garuda with lord vishnu comes in garuda garuda is his airlines <laughs> if you know who garuda is then please write it he's uh, he's a bird actually you know but who is he actually okay so then what happened is lord vishnu appeared in front of him and when dhruva maharaj saw this magnanimous form of god he was totally choked he 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 was choked with so much ecstasy that he could not speak his profuse tears were coming out from his eyes he could not control himself there are eight symptoms of love of god ecstasy ecstatic love of god 
अष्टसात्विक महाविकार एज दिस ऑल दी एट सिम्टम्स वेयर मैनिफेस्टिंग येस हिज हेयर वेयर स्टैंडिंग ऑन एंड एंड देन हिज वॉइस वॉज ट्रेम्बलिंग ही वॉज टॉकिंग ही वॉज क्राइंग ही वॉज शिवरिंग He could not handle it. <laughs> he was he was seeing God directly now. All the all the conclusions of the scriptures, all the result of all of all the penances that is to ultimately see Lord Vishnu, that was directly happening, and that too within six months alone. And then Lord Vishnu understood the predicament of this child, and Dhruva Maharaj wanted to sing prayers to glorify Lord Vishnu, but unfortunately he could not do that. because he was totally choked and he never went to school actually <laughs> and then lord vishnu understood because he is in the heart lord krishna says in the gita ishvara sarva bhutana hridesh arjuna tishthati that i am situated in every living entity's heart and then lord vishnu understood that he wants to sing prayers for me so then what he did is he has his conch the shank with his one of his hands he touched it in the head of dhruva maharaj here here or here <laughs> and then when he touched it all the knowledge of the scriptures the four vedas the upanishads all the knowledge of the entire universe that came into his head <laughs> he became like an encyclopedia of eternal knowledge and then he started singing beautiful choicest poetry now beautiful 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 poetry he sings one of the prayers which he sings is he says i was searching for broken pieces of glass when i have the diamond na you were like the crest jewel i have the diamond in front of me i mean i could have wanted you but i am searching for all these broken pieces of glass what are these broken pieces of glass they are materialistic desires in front of god they are like materialistic desires so he was very embarrassed that I, why was i wanting a kingdom greater than lord brahma's kingdom such a waste of time <laughs> and then lord vishnu says well now the desire is not there i know that but because you had worshiped me your desire will be fulfilled anybody who worships me with any desire be it material or spiritual that will be fulfilled all right बिकॉज इन श्रीमद भागवतम अलोन देर इज अ श्लोका अकामो सर्व कामो वा मोक्ष काम उदार दी तीव्रे न भक्ति योगे नाम यजेता पुरुषम परम अकाम सर्व कामो वा अकाम सर्व काम व मोक्ष काम यू यू हैव डिजायर यू डोंट हैव डिजायर और यू वॉन्ट मोक्ष उदार दी तीव्रे न भक्ति योगे न यजेता पुरुषम परम यू शुड आस्क इट ओनली टू लॉर्ड विष्णु that is what is there in the shiva bhagavata so then lord vishnu blessed him that you will have all the happiness <laughs> and he gives a long list of benedictions which if i start speaking now will go up to 40 minutes this video okay he said you will have live for these many thousands of years and your mat- your body will not degrade and you will have all the materialistic pleasures all the sensual pleasures and at the end of your life you will come back to me my god <laughs> insane that is you will have all materialistic pleasures and at the end you will go back to the spiritual world what a blessing my god and your body will also not degrade no dwindling no old age no disease no death nothing you will simply whoosh. so there's a long list about which we will discuss some other day one day i will make a video specifically on dhruva maharaj there we will read from the shrimad bhagavatam in detail of what the things are there all right but be patient till that video comes so here is the lesson that we need to be determined and to be determined we need the help of our a guru our seniors our counselors our god brothers in the line of spirituality god brothers or god sisters so to have determination we have to stay in company of people who are having spiritual knowledge otherwise our determination will fly away <laughs> that is why people say oh today i chant mantras but tomorrow i stop why that is because you are not in the association of uh, spiritually minded people if your association is surrounded by materialistic people only who are just discussing about who is having an affair or 
who got the new promotion as i say useless rubbish garbage of this world then you will not have determination what to speak of spirituality you will not have determination for material things only okay so take to spirituality visit satsang places try to visit holy places read the scriptures by that you will have determination so now when you hear the story of a five year old like this you feel now that yes if dhruva maharaj can do i can also do of course we, god may not appear in six months because he did very intense penance you see <laughs> so we should not try to imitate great souls mahajano yena gata sapanta the bhagavatam says that we should not imitate the great souls we should try to follow in their footsteps which means that we should take the inspiration from them and we should try to apply it in our life as per time place circumstances and as per our own level so if we are having some spiritual practice in our life it is very important that we do it every day and if possible do it that at the same time every day so suppose you are chanting any mantra at 5 am so make sure you do it at 5 am only every day and this is not a scripture rule i'm just saying this is good for your discipline okay then the other things you can do is you can do some austerities like fasting vrat you can do there's a difference between starving and fasting there's a totally two are totally different concepts okay so we can also fast on days like ekadashi that will give us a lot of determination okay so these are things we can do and of course stay with spiritually minded people and by that we will gain determination okay we when we see other spiritually minded people who are determined we will also get determination in life to do things and to maintain our commitments otherwise whoosh. <laughs> okay so we will discuss on dhruva maharaj in detail long 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 okay this was a very tiny short video on dhruva maharaj and then later on lots of things happen and then how he went goes back to the spiritual world that is also an amazing story okay so many stories are there but there's no time <laughs> okay we will discuss about them later so be patient and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with somebody who is interested in knowing how to have determination in life and if you want a consultation and if you feel you are not determined you want determination like dhruva maharaj then i can also help you you can go to my website to book a reading you will find a link to my website in the description section of this video and all my other videos so before i end as i say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him like dhruva maharaj found him okay until next time wish you good luck bye bye see you Thank you.